Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to hide desktop icons on your Mac. I'm going to show you how to create two icons as you can see over here. And let's see what will happen when I click on the hide button. Look on the icons, I'm clicking on hide. And as you can see, the icons on my desktop disappeared. And right now, if I double click on the show button, as you can see, the icons on the desktop showed up. I will show you how to create two icons like you see on my computer, hide and show. And also I will show you how to hide desktop icons using a terminal on Macintosh and how to show it using terminal as well. So let's start. First of all, we need to open terminal. There are two ways to do that. First of all, when we have our finder opened, we need to click on applications and then try to find terminal over there. As you can see, I've already found it over here. So if you find it this way, you just need to double click on it and open this application. And right now I'm going to show the second way of finding it. So, the second way would require us to move our mouse to the left bottom corner until we see the dock. And once we do, we have to click on the launchpad and then type terminal in the search box at the top. Once we do this, we will see terminal app over here. So, all we have to do is click on it. And as you can see, it was already opened over here. So right now, to hide our desktop icons, all we have to do is to type in defaults space write space com dot apple dot finder space create desktop space dash bool space false. Of course, you can type it as you can see over here or you can check the description of this video. You will find this command in the description and then you can just paste it over here. And once we type this uh, command, we need to hit enter on our keyboard. Another name for enter is return key. After we press enter, we need to type in kill all space finder with capital letter for finder and then hit enter. And as you can see, as soon as I hit enter, all the icons on my desktop disappeared. So let's move to the next part, how to show those icons using terminal. To show the icons, we will use pretty much the same command. The only difference is at the end, we need to erase false and write true. And once it's ready, we press enter. Then we type kill all space finder again, press enter. And as you can see, the icons appeared on my desktop again. So that was the first way, hiding the icons using a terminal. And right now, I'm going to show you how to create those two files that say hide and show. So let's start. First of all, to create those files, we will also use terminal. So all we need to do is to type nano space hide dot command. We need to type hide command in the quotation marks. And once we do this, we have to press enter. And right now, after we pressed enter, editor called nano was opened. And over here, we need to type in or paste the command that we used in the terminal to hide the files. If you type it in, in the first line, we have to press enter. And in the second line, you need to type in kill all space finder. Once you have it, 
you need to press on the keyboard Ctrl and O. Once you press Ctrl and O buttons, it will ask us over here, as you can see, how we would like to save our file. So I'm going to save this file as hide.command and then press enter. Right now, the first file called hide was created. So to make the second file that says show, we just need to erase word false and type true in this place over here. And once we do this, we need to press Ctrl O. And after we press Ctrl O, it will ask us again how we would like to save our file. So we need to change the name from hide to show.comment. And once we do this, we can hit enter. After we press enter, it will ask us if we really want to change the name of this file. So we need to press Y to confirm. And right now, our files show and hide were created. So to close this editor, we need to press Ctrl X. And as you can see, we've closed the nano text editor. So right now, let's see where those files were saved. To find them, we need to open Finder. And after we do that, we need to move our mouse up here, click on Go, and then choose Home. Once we get Home, as you can see over here on the left side, there is hide.command and show.command icon. So as you can see, those files are already here. Let's see what happens if I try to start it. As you can see, when I double clicked, there was some error showed that I cannot execute this uh, file because I don't have access privileges. In order to being able to start this file, we need to type in in our terminal chmod space plus x space the name of the file. So in my case, it's show.command. And we have to do the same for the other file. So we type chmod space plus x space hide.command and press enter again. And after we changed the privileges by typing these two commands, let's see what will happen if I double click on hide command. As you can see, the file was executed and all the files on my desktop disappeared. So let's check the other file. I'm double clicking on show command. And as you can see, all the files on the desktop were showed again. And now as the last part, of course, you can change the name of this file. All you have to do is right click on the file hit rename and then you can change the name to any name you want. And then we can do the same with the other file. All you need to do is right click on this other file, hit rename and delete the part that says dot command. And we've got two files called hide and show that will show the files on our desktop or hide them. Of course, you can move these files to any folder in any place on your computer that you want. And that's it for today. Remember to hit thumbs up, subscribe our channel and leave a comment. Thanks for watching.